Era na bali wa kolera 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 Bae chita kana e kere kia bo Bae chita kana e kere kia bo Bae chita kana e kere kia bo Bae chita kana e kere kia bo
tutaweza kuwa na a few speeches from family members friends who are here and as well we can have a short history of Irene from one of the family members tutaweza kueleza historia hii kila kama kuongea nini ni tuweze kuwa kwa pamoja na kwenye program Takapo kuwa tumemaliza hapo sasa tutaweza sasa give the body tuongoza katika neno la Mungu karibu Mashukuru kwa Mungu aliyetuwezesha kufika hapa ikawa ni siku ya mchezo na ameishi miaka ile yote ameishi na Mungu uh, aliona ni pema akumzike wakati huo. Lakini kuna kazi nyingi amefanya akiwa binadamu ile Mungu alimuumba. Akawa ni mtoto akiwa na wazazi wake huko nyumbani. Akawafanyia kazi na ni kazi nzuri aliyofanyia. Ya kumtuma pale aende afanye hii afanye hivi. Kutoka hapo alienda shule akasoma na hata hivyo alikuwa na kazi ya shule alikuwa anafanya alikuwa wakati Mungu amemweka duniani ikana kwamba alikuwa amepanda merikebu kwenda safari yake ya, ya maisha ikafika mahali lazima ameshuka akaacha wengine waendelee na maisha na kwa, kwa kweli not two weeks ago i really finished the hala rose on earth akapumzika ndipo sasa Timothy alipokuwa akihubiri wakiwa na Paul alifanya kazi nyingi ya kihubiri lakini mwishoe akasikia ametosheka na akasema hivi katika Timothy ya pili fungu la 4 kutoka tuanzie tu ya sita Toka, that is chapter 4 from verse 6 let me get it from verse 6 for i am now ready to be over and the time of my departure is at hand aya ni mawazo pingine i really alipokuwa kwa kitanda pale hospitali hayo ndiye alinikujia kwa fikira zake akasema for i am now ready to be over and the time of my departure has come wakati ule alikuwa anaongea na Mungu wakati amemaliza yake ya dunia hii wakati amemaliza wakati Mungu alimwambia sasa wakati wako umefika na yeye akasema i am ready to be over nataka sasa ni niondoke kwa sababu nimefanya kazi yangu ndio verse 7 inasema i have fought a good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith alikubali wacha niondoke kwa sababu amefanya kazi nzuri yeye alikiambia yeye mwenyewe i have fought a good fight there are many fights that she fought in her life singine hakuna mtu mwingine alijua ni yeye na Mungu wake kuna singine familia yake ilijua kuna other fights alipigana nazo friends wake walijua lakini mwishoe ni conclusion akasema i have fought a good fight and now i have finished the course up hakuachia chochote njiani alikuwa amemaliza ile course aliambiwa akimbia all round you it was 400 meters alikimbia akamaliza i have finished the course so she was ready to be over atoke kwa dunia hii aachi wengine usukari na aende kupumzika akasema i have fought a good fight i have finished my course i have kept it. Now this is where we need to ask ourselves. We are all of us having our own fights. 
we have our challenges. How are we fighting? Tunapiga na na maitaji na alizetu na mnagani. Are we doing the correct thing? Can we really say, I am ready to be over now? It's a big question that each of us should ask. Mimi, nikiwa hivi, inaendelea kupigana na hali zangu za maisha. Am I, am I fighting a good fight? We were together when uh, she left us. Tukaongea, tukaona 11 ya itafika alaka. Kinaona sasa nimefika. Na tuko tayari, tukusafiri na yeye. Tumupereke kwa resting place. Mwamu yetu lukua. Mwamu yetu ya msuri. The way she was. Because I feel we have a lot of money in the unit. She was ever trophy. Extremely trophy. Now, I think about winning. And the two at the end of our life, Mali and Aka, Mali and Muma Shabayaka, Ako, the third place. I know that that's the focal point. I've done politics in the same area. Who could you want to? Mali Changai Komingi. Hapo, kwa hiyo kakona. Hapo ndiyo inchi ni achanga. Na utakuta watu wameka, asimu nothing has happened. Hmm? But Yunis used to make sure at one particular time, akipata relatives wake. Kama wamekunyo na chukua, anapereka mbaka kwa nyumba. Akimuvirea, anamuleta kwa parapara, anakombua eh, eh, boda boda, ina mpereka nyumbani. Uwe mutu, hamuwane kama ni special. Yeah? Until the other day after, after I'm a fariki, I'm a nyumbani, and I managed to share with some. Wali niambia, hiko wengine wame okoka as we stand here. Ninana najua, ninana najua omosa. Omosa wasire. Mujuku wa otino. Yeah? Some of you know him. Tukumbuke watu wake. Tukumbuke Moseti and the disciplines. Tukumbuke his brothers and sisters. Nataka kuongea sana because hiko wengine wanataka kuongea. Na tunajua. Tukienda nyumbani kesho. It is possible. Hamuta pata na fasi. Waivo wala ambao mepanga mbaka mimi na kaongea hapa leo. Na shukuru. Sababu ni najua. I may miss this chance tomorrow. Thank you. Asante sana. Ndogo Wilson. Kwa tulia na kumboleza. Awa wanao fuata. Kwa sababu najua. Kwaweza taka watu kada waweza kuongea. Ningaomba pia muweza kuwa wafuki. Kwaweza ni kushukuru mungu kile tunasema. Kwa sababu, we cannot take it for granted that this is Nwema sana. Aya mamba ya kifo. Ya nakuwa mamba ya tapua. Na tutayendelea kuwa na kifo. Mbakubi is killing and it is real. Nafanya katika tourism, travel, na nimepoteza marafiki wengi sana. Tunakuenda nyumbani, wacha waseme vile wasema. Tunajua protocol ni gani tafuata. Nilie matuweze kufanya hivyo. Na kuwafungia zaidi. Tumusifi ya Zukristu. Milena na Milena Amina. Tumusifi. Thank you so much and God bless you. Kwa nafasi, kwa nafamba niwe nafasi peke, umepata ya kuweza kuhilia dada haili. Gilo wamesema, atujui, tokapo kwa DC, protocol sitakuwa na mna gani, labda utapata yu nafasi. So, ni nafasi yako ya peke, Tuna Ni kumelelewa kikiwa kutangu tukua watogu 
Tunapoishi katika dunia hii Tunajua which is right, which is wrong na Nijambo gani tunapaa kufanya Kwa sisi pia tuweze kumadiza isafari Kwa dada yangu Kamashama hizo kufari yaki Sita naena mengi kwa saizi Chani rusu dada zangu pia Kwa weze kumbaleza Thank you. Kwanini na wambia tuini Majosi yangu ya kulia kwa haili ni majosi ya fra Cousins, wanaume, ni nani ya lia pataeza ume? Mfamilio ya msedi Na wasalimu wa mjambo Kwa majina ni naitu wa Joseph Makori Ongeri Natoka Ibacho Ibacho Siba na Matulo I grew up with that family, so you know we have a bit of a very much touch. She's my sister. She lives at home with many things. We grew up together now, you know, with my sister and the family. I didn't happen to be the first daughter, the first grandson of my sister that family, so she was reaching everybody. I understand that the Sababu is a tough guy. Anajua relatives vizuri She makes calls Kimuliza ulikotea umena watu Which is very rare these days So I am Tutam Kushalini saaloji Wakati nilisikia naenda kupatizwa And then later on when I am learning that she has gone so I can go and get my own work in my pen. She prepared her way. Even the last reports from the sun. Yale mambo aliongea ya mwisho. Ni kama alienda kijua na ya. Ukiangalia ni mwewe tunawana. You have that family at hand. Hawa wenye wamekuja hapa. Unaenda nyumbani. It's not even a part of the people who have wanted to go. Your father, Maranga, has a big catchment. He has many friends. You know them. Mwana tunasema mutu nye watu. Hata wegina wanasema, if Irene was a man, Mgefanya mengi sana katika ile familia. Next, mgefenda kuomba miongoni mwetu tuko na mgeni ambayo yaza kusafiri toka nchi jirani ya Tanzania. Uiza in-law. 
to English to do that I go happy here. Mimi <laughs> Chakwapa kutetea dada yangu ili apate kuisha. Ninakuwa ni vigumu sana kukubali. Lakini ile njia ambayo hadi ila ile mwendea mwenendo natupatia amani kwa sababu dada yangu ajarana kama kwenda cha mtu wa Mungu ana my sister amekuwa mgonjwa kwa muda wa zaidi ya miaka 20 alikuja ka kupatikana na sukari na diabetes na hiyo miaka yote kutoka mwaka wa 2000 ameshinda ki akiwa kwa matibabu ndio sasa alianza kuwa mgonjwa zaidi kuliko ile tulikuwa tunajua ndio tulijua kwamba ame amepatikana na kidney failure na ikasemekana lazima aanze kufanywa dialysis na hiyo safari tulikuwa na tukajua tutapata a uh, sapo kubwa sana kwa marafiki pia kwa wale relatives mimi na jambo nikasema kwamba nawashukuru wote sina shaka kwa sababu dada yangu amelala akimjua Mungu alilia mpaka siku ya mwisho alituambia mambo mengi alituambia mambo mengi na tunajua mahali hapo hapo bali kwa na wakati ametoka nyumbani tulianza kukaa na yeye akiwa mgonjwa na mama ndio alikuwa anamfurikia ilikuwa ni vizuri pia kama nitakupa nafasi pia sehemu moja ama mbili katika jina la Yesu Kristo mjambo hatujambo kwa maana ya shukrani ni kwa ajili ya mume wangu mmoja ambaye anatukatia amepipa nafasi ya kuishi na dada yake yani na kwa hakika vile wengi wamesema walipambana kwa hiyo toka hapa nafurahia kwamba hali alipumzika akimjua Mungu uh, wakati tulikuwa nyumbani wakati hali anasema kwamba anataka kubatizwa nikaona kweli vile Biblia inatuambia kwamba hii hii wai tulio nao sio wai wetu wao tulio nao ni wa Yesu ni wa Mungu ni kwa maana ukiangalia Genesis Biblia inatuambia kwamba aliweka pumzi yake kwa mwanadamu na atakuwa hai na ndipo sasa hiyo pumzi Mungu ambaye alimetupatia 
ametuachia sisi nafasi tulofanyeo kazi na kwa hakika kama kazi zetu zitakuwa zimeisha hii duniani hiyo pumzi inamrudia Mwenyezi Mungu na na atakwambia mambo mengi na atakwambia yako tihani sisi tumebaki tuko hai saa hizi sisi tutakuwa na namna gani kutalana na namna gani kula kweli tutakuwa na namna gani hiyo ndio swali tunataka kuangalia sisi wenyewe juu mengi ya kusema ni sisi wenyewe tujioje milioni yetu wale tunabaki kuwa hai tunaishi vivi na tutaishi tutaenda na namna gani tutaenda tukimjua Mungu ama tutaanguka tu hivi hiyo ndio swali mbarikiwe sana wale wamekuja kuomboleza na sisi tunawashukuru sana na wasalimu wote wajambo sijui ni nani wapi sababu sometimes ni ngumu imani kusimama mbele kuelezea maisha wanaume na wanawake Mm. Kuna uchungu lakini pia niko na furaha at the same time. Chungu ile ndani system bank lakini furaha ni ile amelala kwa mabii. Na katika ushuhuda na nini amelala katika imani. Kwa mwanga Nataka kuendeleza maneno ya mama yangu. Taeleza sana. Tutamaliza. Sababu ametulea vizuri. Tangu tukio la kwa dogo na assistance. My mother was there loving and going to tell us sisi wote. So tutamuliza sana kwa sababu ya huyu friend. lakini nzuri ni ile tumetufunza na vile tuna tunaishi tutaendelea kuishi na mimi na baba tutufunza mama alikuwa rafiki yangu Saidi ya kwa mama yangu wale wote mnajua we are very close to her she used to share with me everything na mimi nikiwa na shida na nikiwa na jambo fulani we share So at the same time I have really lost a friend. Because she knew my problems. I knew her problems. Wakati ni mungu wajwa. Mungu anapanga pia. Nika ingia. Nika sema wacha nipeleka familia nimbali. Wakaende kuhishi na mungu. Mama. So kumpeleka kumpeleka familia eh lockdown ikaingia. So ikabidi na mimi nikae pale. That's when I started now to realize my mom is getting sick. Alikuwa mtu mwenye apendi kujionyesha sana hata kama amesikia vibaya. Akaongea kwa simu. Akwambia kwa sawa. Na ni ngumu sana kujua wale wengi wa familia wanajua so nikaoa vizuri kwa mama yangu pia alikuwa tukaanza kuulika kimbia hapa na pale kujua shida tutasaidia tukafika sasa tukikuja Nairobi from Ireland and uh, ikawa sasa ameambiwa aingie tayari sasa it was difficult for her to accept na ndeleza kawa tukamwambia that this part of the treatment was for poor tutaweza kuishi kwanza we been working all the way the journey kama familia moja nikapata roho yangu ikiwa ngumu sana mawazo yakaingia sana nikaanza kuona ndoto nyingi Finally I made a decision. Kapata ubatizo bila kushurutishwa na mtu mwingine. Amen. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa furaha yake. 
the family mba yeye na mba yake wala katika mpango wa Mungu na ukweli amepumzika sisi wote tukiwa katika huo mpango na nikambia ikapata ripoti imeachwa yaone uh, daktari mbona brother lame so the doctor kaniambia mgonjwa mlileta hapa ayuko vizuri not uh, doing well so akanielezea kamaliza tu sasa kabla ni make any decision because uh, maneno alikuwa anahitaji mfanye tafadhali nialao muone Mungu naye akafanya maajabu because alikuwa kwa isolation ward wakakubali When I saw my mom the first thing I got my mom because my mom is no more because the state she was sila ya nyata tumleta usiku Kwa daktari wako anasema aongee aweze kufanya nini So nikamuita mama akaniambia no akaitika kanot kichwa washiria msikia nimeuliza unaniona kanot pia alinona yote da hai nikamuliza na sasa something came the spirit led me to do that those in Yona if I don't do it maybe we cannot get another opportunity to do it we can only do it we can only do it do you accept Jesus Christ as the person who said we can do it we can only do it are you willing to hold that faith up to the end we can only do it let us pray kwa namba nae akaniacha mkono wake he prayed then brother let me pray i told mom now this kama uko na daktari ukamwambia sasa wote you ask him you think we make a change but in the no you know don't you push our so the one that we make i see you don't come here don't you need it you can do 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 it told us that uh, Alilala that very night at uh, around 9:45 so mimi hiyo ndio plan iko nayo atakama melala na ndio those words we share na alikubali hivyo hivyo those are the words maybe Alilala nazo wakati huo so what to find a bit the cc what we are at and we pray we mean the faith so that we go on and ahead both i know here i'm shot from william us now we stand up for us who are here Just pray for us we keep that kind of unit to endeavor so that we follow the footsteps of our mom I have friends when I'm going to one side sana my special name met him is also one one friend and later my I can't forget him I'm going to one side sana to encourage mom here and I'm going to fanya dialysis all along there's also another one I talk with him yeah here with us we really appreciate your coming here we really appreciate your support in every way tunashukuru sana I can't thank you na Mungu atawaushia chini bila anaviona itakao uh, vema kwa kila mtu. Ni kama juma moja kabla mama aenda kuaga. Nilimuuliza swali moja mimi binafsi. Kamuuliza Is there anything humanly possible? you have not done to save the life of your mother don't you sort of 
wiki leave akanjibu akanambia nimefanya kila lolote ninaweza kufanya kumwambia nao you have peace kwa sababu kuna muda mwingine kama binadamu tunaishi katika ile hali ya kuja kusema i wish mnipate wazangu familia inakuwa na watoto wengi hata kama ni watoto kumi lakini mzazi anaweza kutabika na kuangaika kwa njia moja ama nyingine mtu anatoka mbali anakuja kusema ningekuwa na huu muda ningefanya hii jambo hili ama lile sema hilo tu litaweza kumpa that courage sema amefanya lolote angeweza kufanya kwa maisha ya mama yake lakini Mungu amemchukua zangu pia ambazo ataweza kutoa tukapo kwa sasa nikifunga hiki kipindi niweze kurudisha kwa ndugu yangu ndugu Mairura hivi next naweza kutupanga utaratibu wa transport ile utakapo kuingia magari ndani kuna mtu anaka aita kindly allow me to give a credit is our financial manager to say just a word then for there ndine nyingi mmoja na tutaendelea na safari tena kama wote kindly give a word for those na mani ya bwana ningeomba tu ngawaje protocol wa inusu but we forgot a very important person in between the communication kuna mama yake mdogo aunti yake ambaye ako hapa is born
My friend, not even. Yani, tingo mo ito, tingo mo ako mano na yari mo sali. Watera ka mo para kung ano ko rasya ang mga rolling ng correspondent. So, yun yung sa mas sen, sen kasi. Ninguém in that capacity of being an auntie to Irene, I was also privileged to see my sister-in-law, one of my cousin's wife, being here. Oh, my God. 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 ご視聴ありがとうございました<音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽> Apa sih kalau mana ini mana kau? Mana ini yang kita yang tahu itu macam mana kau tu kaya yang dah buat kita. Kau tu punya kunci bagaikan mereka. Karena mahu mahu kita ada perasaan kita. Hendak ni ada orang lain yang kita anci. Kau di sana dia ada. Okay, buat apa kita nak cuma cuci ada aku nak cuci. Kasih tanda dia okay tu. So ia itu akan saya dapat susahkan. Yeah, <laughs> They could uh, come ask me, how do you call me? So me growing up, I knew if you are older than me, you are not my cousin, you are my aunt. So I could say Olfa, Jerusha, they my cousin. But Irene, I used to call her my aunt. We really lost someone who was like a pillar in our family. And what we'll ask you is to pray for us, and we know for sure with my aunt here, everything will be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Na <laughs> Kasema, tafadhali mwambia, kasema sila mwambia, atena kamuambia muulize, kama naenga mwambia, labda alikuwa mwambia, awange, diwa ni mwacha, ni mwambia mwimu, kwa maisha hivu. Na si tunafurahia tangu atoku kwenu, kukucha kwenu, yale amefanya. Kwanza wate ni sikuru mwenye simu, kwa wema na maisha, hametupa sisi zote. 
ya bili sahi tutakiani kulia in fact it's right to celebrate Irene it's time to celebrate her life kila mtu our days are numbered we don't know how many but the years we have been given celebrate for the life we have been known don't say ni kidogo ni kubwa how did you know God gave us, gave us each of our one number of days to live the period you are on this world you need to celebrate na mungu ni mwema na ni muhimu ana wakati mmoja anatoka anaongeza mwingine huyo akitoka anaongeza mwingine mpaka wakati huyo ataanza nini mwisho wa dunia yeye ni sana amini na rashidi wako wengi hapa nafikiri wanamjua ni mzee kwa maana kabisa kwa familia hata yeye mzee Mungu anajiona in laws kama yeye yeye ni rafiki hata watoto wake naona ni marafiki ya watu wengi sasa ningeuliza tungechoa nini hapa kwa hii familia tutoe ile ngumu roho ya mawe iko kwetu tutoe ile ya fresh ya Mungu tufanye vile Mungu anatenda kwa kakati ile kidogo imepata asante sana thank you so much na na apologies for for the kula time but now to now that tumesema wacha tumelie mama there something very uh, important for us kwanza my sisters are not here wale wenye lot of sisters they are at home but i realize i have sisters here most of them are raga you are raga to stop faith and mercy and they also some come the my sisters because we are the sisters are the two and the brother think my wife said you know praise god Praise God on this morning. Kwa majina niliitwa Faith Msati. I'm the cousin and sister to Msati. And uh, this is my auntie Ria, my guest. And uh, I would ask you to pray for us, mtukumbuke kwa maombi. And uh, yeah, asante sana for being here for us. Mungu ni mtu. Um just vile Faith amesema Eunice is our auntie and Mosetti is our cousin and we depend to echo what everyone has said uh, tulikana auntie kwetu and me vile niko very observant um nataka ku echo vile kila mtu amesema alimjua Mungu kabisa and she was always prayerful and i thank God that hata kama milala alilala kama ni mkubali asante Uh, Sante. Uh, there's also another school from a sea. Brother George. Find this the uh, just with her. Yeah. Uh, and there's also also uh, recognize my friends uh, Mike and, uh, and also Kristen from a uh, uh, medical point of view. And uh, there's also one guy I can't forget my brother Mose. Yes. Ndio 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 kwa ni Kiswahili mwana mimi sikuwi. Ndio hadi kwa nini? Eh? Kaka yangu kama kuna. Ndio kwa mwana mimi. Ndio kwa ni Kiswahili. Ndio kwa ni Kiswahili eh. Kwa sisi sio. Ndio kwa ni Thank you so much.
Let's go.